what's going on. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Oh. Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Low poly Shay, high resolution. Low poly, high resolution. <laughs> Sorry for the rough exit. Your Hello. Check. You were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. LeMay, is that the person from Assassin's Creed 4? Follow me. Double time. I can this only move this. It's absolutely your fault, in I case you're wondering. How that my fault? Be okay, guys. Stay positive. I, I remember you. You were in the last game. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Okay. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Pretty clever. Sorry. Elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server so on the floor. So strange. I guess it'll have to do for now. It's so strange. I want regular updates on your Ooh. progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Okay. So, hopefully she will stop talking for a second. Doesn't look like she is. So, uh, as you can see, she's wearing an earpiece in her, uh, in her right ear. And in my right headphone, like my actual headset, I can hear a voice, but only my right one. That's a key attention to detail instead of putting it in both. I like things like that. Small details is what makes a game. I can't get over there, but I can get through here. Which, I can't get to that room over there. Is that like a server room? Do you see a there? flashing wireless signal? Great, that means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Okay, yeah, it's cool. It's still in my left ear, which is... Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Okay. Uh, so ring rotation. Okay, so I've selected the top ring. Uh, how do I, how do I select, ah, okay. That's the outer one, that's fine. Good job. There we go. This core wasn't too complex, but rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. Okay, that's a subtle hint that there's more, more advanced things to hack for me later. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. 
While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mu'alim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mu'alim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Sweet. That's the, um, the story for Altair in the first game. Maybe I will. First, I'm going to have a look around. You could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. So, there's something I want to do with hey, this one. One of your co-workers one. dropped his communicator by the elevator? If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Okay, that's one I quickly want to do on this. Haytham Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Three. So, so will lead you to a greater understanding. So, the voice that's in my ear, the one that's telling us to look into look into uh, Shay Cormac's memories more. Um, he's, he reminds me of someone, but I'm not going to say who, because it may, it may, it may be right, he sounds very similar from what I remember from memory, but in the Assassin's Creed 4, I believe, on that computer, if you hacked it, you'd get the video for Ezio, uh, that's what I was expecting, uh, again, but instead I got Edward Kenway, not Edward, uh, Hathen Ken Kenway. I guess pick this up. Uh, who does this belong to? Oh. Okay. Uh, I do recommend that I'm for that few in the studio putting you into work a special product with me. I am. Um, it's Arno Dorian. Sorry, I'm, I'm skim reading this quickly. What? So, telling from the beginning of this, it's um from the boss, it's the boss here. The date, 2014. The subject, it's Arno Dorian to Robert Frazier. Now... Nice find. If it was me, I'd snoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it. But I might be a terrible person. <laughs> yeah. So, in Assassin's Creed Unity, because obviously I played a little bit of it, 
but didn't complete it because I can't. My computer can't run it. Um, Arno is the assassin you play as, but you don't know who you are, I believe. Unless, unless at some point you find out that I'm, that I'm aware, unaware of. So maybe we play as Robert in Assassin's Creed Unity. Anyway, that's what I picked up from that. Hello. You're a bit armoured up for an entertainment company, right? I guess we did just go into like a uh, security lockdown. Um, she said, she, oh my god. What does that remind me of? Project Morpheus from PS4. Uh, is there anything else I can hack? Ooh, whose computer is that over there? Is that mine? Ooh, shiny. I think this is mine. My computer's the only one that stayed on. Oh no, this person's here. Let's see what this has. Okay. I think we're probably going to end up hacking this last computer. And then... Ugh! And then we're probably going to end up... Hmm. Okay. Oh, and then we put this one down here. Hmm. Peculiar. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about, actually. Completely slipped my mind. Oh, I remember. This is probably going to be the last computer we'll hack and then I'll end the episode. Okay. We got it, Ian. Hey, boss. Calling from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen. Searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. The observ- oh my god. Okay, so I think- okay. So I remember there being a building, I'm not sure if it was an observatory of sorts, it was on, I believe it to be Far Cry 3, which is another Ubisoft game, um, when you walk into a, uh, an abandoned building you can find uh, an old like Abstergo file, it may just be a reference, or they are connected and that's where he's going, because I don't exactly know where Far Cry 3 is set, it might be set in Cuba, it might be set somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to find my workstation. Where's my workstation? Sorry, uh, so if I just ramble on like that, I really like the, um, little connections and details like that. What's that down there? Is that a good, uh, black flag? I thought it said Revelations for a second. Uh, we have the books. I believe these are real books you can buy in real life, which is really cool. Oh, there you go. That's Far Cry 3 there. A uh, little book for that. Oh, this is my workstation. We have some assassins. I think I know who you are, but I'm not going to say because I might just look dumb. Uh, that's a strange printer. That's a really cool looking printer, actually. Assassin's Creed Rising Phoenix coming soon. I wonder if that's going to be an actual game. I am unsure. So I haven't. I really haven't been keeping up the like any new Assassin's Creed news or any stuff I probably should be keeping up with. Really cool. There's a crossbow there. A blueprint for a crossbow. I wonder if assassins. I remember um, 
in one of the backstories for Assassin's Creed 1, Altair did have a crossbow. Maybe that's that. I don't know. So I, I like connect, connecting random things together and I am nerding out. Okay. So guys, if you like this commentary, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to do in the future, please comment down below. And until next time, goodbye.